Okay. Hello and welcome to Beat 'em Up Wrestling. Uh, we are reviewing the February 5th AEW uh, -W Dynamite out of Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah, I didn't even know where they were at today. <laughs> the crowd was good though. So, yeah, yeah. The, the crowd was probably one of the best ones they've had in a while. Um, yeah. They were loud. No, uh, Ohio and... was good. Yeah, I, I, but I'm saying like this one came across really, really loud. Yeah, I didn't really know. I didn't expect from, it. From top they to They wanted it. They yeah. wanted AEW there. From the moment it started to the last uh, mm -hmm. dramatic mm -hmm. end that we had, they were they were really into it. Um, I think, like I said, for me at least, it, it's been one of the best crowds they've had. Uh, yeah, so we'll start it off. Um, it starts off real strong. Um, starts off with uh, John Moxley and Ortiz from <laughs> Proud and Powerful. They did their thing. Um, yeah, I was... Uh, looking forward to this match of course like the inner circle was watching yeah. everything go down um i thought it was pretty good i did Ort ortiz and him went back and forward it wasn't um it was a one-sided match they had some good spots in there um of course you know jericho came out and does her does his thing too and basically just has this ambiance of him yeah. being outside the ring i think um, the only weakness for me was uh semi guevara on the mic i don't think yeah. he added too much to it no no um uh, Hager's getting stronger in his persona. He's stopping doing the whole, like, uh, mute look. Mm -hmm. where, and he's beginning, like, he was really, well, we'll get into that, but, uh, he gets real distressed over with something that happened. So, uh, I mean, like, you can go ahead if you want to. Yeah. No, um, um, yeah, we had, uh, Solid Snake, uh, John Moxley, um. Is that his nickname now? <laughs> Corey fighting does. one of the, uh, Proud and Powerful, and Ortiz was very surprising in his, uh, singles match debut. It, um. Uh, I uh, I think this was a very enjoyable match and a very good match to start off with because I think um, at this point NXT was starting off with the promo, so if you, if people were undecided on what to look at, um, I think this this match just with uh, Moxley's superstar persona and the way the match carried yeah. out. Um, Mox handles the inner circle, the yeah. intensity of the group very well because he doesn't back down from that. Yeah. So um, it it comes off. It doesn't come off um, very fake. It comes off very strong. That Moxley's like, eh, there's yeah. six, what five or six guys up there, yeah, you know. So like, um, but yeah, at one point Santana comes down, um, gets involved, and um, he basically eye for an eye takes out Santana. Um, and, uh, yeah, the rest yeah. of the inner circle comes in. Stabs, uh, stabs the car key into Santana's eye. Yeah. And, um, that just sets up, uh, for a little bit of promo later on that we'll get into. But, yeah, it, it sets up for our next week of the fighting. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Santana and Moxie will be going one-on-one. -on -one. So, I'm guessing, um, Moxie's going to be going through the whole inner circle as we gear up for the revolution. Which is kind of interesting to see if, uh, Hager's actually going to wrestle. Yeah, I, I don't know. They, I don't know. Uh, they'll hold the Hager match. I don't think they'll, yeah. they'll debut him like that. No. Um, there's, what, two weeks left? Uh, I think there's three. Three. Three, three. more Dynamite so, before Revolution. So he'll probably go against Ortiz. Um, I know Sammy's going against uh, Darby next week. So then Sammy will probably be maybe Sammy the 19th. Sammy will be the, the, the 12th. Probably or the nineteenth. No, it's good. Yeah. the twelfth will be Santana. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. nineteen will be Sammy. Yeah, and then the twenty sixth will probably be a promo cutting for Revolution. Yeah, or probably all of them trying to beat up on Max. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> a couple of days later, Revolution will be. So yeah, yeah so it, won't be it, too it much. sets up for for like yeah, I don't think they will debut Hager yet. So then uh, that ends. Uh, Moxley wins, um, and then it cuts to uh, Orange Cassidy and the best friends coming out with their for their uh, match against SCU. Yep. Um, they S looked good. SCU for a while was starting to look a little bit, um, I don't know, maybe they were, uh, one of them was under the weather. Um, I'm, I'm referring to Scorpio Sky, of course. He looked like he was a little bit under the weather before because he maybe brought it. Maybe he's not it. feeling it yeah. yet, but today he like hits yeah. the spots. He, like, he had he, a lot of energy. He, he looked like his, he was uh, in it. Like for, It didn't look like he was like mentally or like, I don't know, just something was yeah, off. Yeah, something was off. Maybe it was just us reading into but, it. Um, but. I, I know he got back to his 2019 um form today he was he was very good uh yeah. doing some amazing drop kicks maybe he could have been injured i don't know but yeah today he, he brought it back uh, frankie being frankie uh this was a really good match yeah. um orange cassidy uh it's always always bringing a smile um i think our dog just kicked our camera <laughs> <laughs> did she yeah, yeah. <laughs> um thank you Charlie. that's fine that's good we're still good hold on the camera's shaking a lot now 
So we apologize for the, uh, the That's camera. That's our, our Australian shepherd down yeah. there at our bottom of our feet hiding. Yeah. And she's licking her paws. So if it shakes a little bit, <laughs> excuse if it's her yeah, paw. So but uh, yeah, SCU takes the win. Yeah. Um, so the best friends go for the hug, which eats up the time. They could have had the win. And yeah. then uh, Scorpio Sky comes in and... Dark Order. Saves it, yep. And you then, don't forget about the Dark Order. Yeah, the yeah. Dark Order at the end of the match comes out. Uh, they want Christopher Daniels. Well, the first try to give it to Cassidy. Yeah, they tried to get Orange Cassidy and drink the yeah, of the mask. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, CD comes down. But the whole reason why they came out was because they're they're going after Christopher Daniels. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that, that is definitely, you know, with the, if you guys seen uh, Being the Leap, they find a mask. We don't know if it's his mask. We don't know it's exactly what's going on. Um, so there's a little bit of a storyline building up there. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see if the Dark Order becomes a little bit more than what it is. Um, they're working it very slowly, trying to figure out their angle, which is nice. I like nice. they got rid of all the creepy crawlers. Yeah. <laughs> the creepy perverts. <laughs> yeah, right? So, um, but yeah, it was, it's, um, they're working it slow. And it's not annoying at this point. It's kind of like you don't know where they're going with it, which is also a good angle. You don't yeah. know what's going to happen. So hopefully it does pay off. Um, and hopefully just take your time with it. Don't rush it. Um, cause we don't want to have what happened before. So, yeah. you know, so um, they, they build up momentum and then they yeah, lose it. Exactly. Um, and then we finally get to Yuka and she fights to get Vince Baker. And I was really happy to see uh, the, um, to see her back in the ring because yep. we haven't seen her since last was, year. The beginning. Last year. Yeah. Um, the first show they had, right? Yep. In Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. All, uh, um, so yeah, since all out, I don't think she's been... She that was the last time she I think she was was yeah in, uh, I was like I love the magical um, girl she has all this energy her, she's a good wrestler yeah too. She's, she's a good wrestler her it, persona usually um makes people underestimate her but she has really good talent in the ring and uh, this was uh Britt Baker's one of her one of her best matches I don't know um she was jolling well with uh, Yuka yeah that or maybe she's really feeling being a heel yeah you know sometimes it's a little bit easier because you're kind of bend the rules you don't expect to always be as clean. You're looking for cheap shots, things like that. Um, so yeah, it was nice to see uh, see her in that role. Um, surprisingly, uh, we said that we didn't think that yeah. Britt was gonna lose. She does lose, but then she loses her shit, which makes sense because she's a heel. Yep. Um, goes and gets the bell, hits Yuka in the back of the back, um, in her in her back, and then um, at one point she falls, it gets the rope award, looks like it yeah. or something, and um, starts bleeding through the mouth and then what looks like one of her teeth has come out which is fitting she done yep, it for baker um but man you sold it she looked like she was like she screamed with her little with her little japanese accent it was adorable and she screamed and um it all the blood and everything was there um but yeah it was i'm i'm very i'm hoping she's gonna do more in AEW, she was entertained. The crowd was very yeah. over. Everybody so, liked her. So Yuka's personality is very bubbly, and then um, seeing her turn on the the pain and the, the screaming yeah, you're and like agony. no, <laughs> and and it, it, the crowd bought that so well too because the crowd was legitimately uh, horrified by it. It's and, like the uh, smallest anime girl getting hit, like you knocked the highlights out of her hair, you know, yeah. like that kind of thing. And then uh, yeah, and this helped uh, Britt Baker build on the yeah. uh, heel because it, now it really now good. she has some like worst heat than she's had um i mean this is this is good for for both of them yeah so uh it was good yeah but uh and then uh yeah i like i said i hope she comes back there's more yeah. uh, maybe maybe she'll be in chicago i don't know i'm I'm, wait, I'm like wishing for too much um but yeah then we get into our eight man tag which is the butcher and the blade versus, uh with the lucha bros versus the elite which includes kenny and hangman yep yeah. This was a really great match um, good and match. really good storytelling, too. Hangman has issues. Um, Kenny just looks like he looks so oblivious. Like, you know, when you have that one friend that's just like, what are you talking about? Like, he looks so much like that person yeah. that's trying to be the mediator between everybody, but kind of just like doesn't want to deal with it either. So, like, it kind of played off a lot. Um, man, Phoenix looked amazing. He had so many great spots. Um, but yeah, no, and it made the Butcher and the Blade look really good, too. Um, they did really well. I yeah. think this was, like, the best match they've well, had with them. Butcher and the Blade are really underestimated because they've, yeah. they've, they've been, uh, you know, written to, yeah. to lose. But, um, yeah, they're really good. Um, I, I want them to do more with them. Yeah. Um, Butcher is amazing. Like, he, he had some really good spots in this match. Yeah. Uh, everybody looked good yeah. it just was a, all like all around was a really good match and um it was just a 
too much talent in the ring though it, it did at times get a little hard to follow yeah wasn't there one like where they like it looked like they counted a three and i wasn't really sure if they hit the it hit him or the ref yeah, was in was, the way it was a lot it of got a little muddy there but, one um, part, but um that's what what you what happens with the uh, eight-man tag team yeah it gets a little hard to um keep but, on yeah but the purpose of this match was to highlight their talent and yeah. to tell the story that the elite is not gelling too well no did not at all yeah. um and then um did you Say the ending yet? No, I don't think it did. No. So then, uh, basically, there's a point where Paige needs to make a tag. Uh, Kenny gets swept or his leg gets pulled. Mm -hmm. And um, it's Matt and Nick at the turnbuckle. He basically refuses to tag him in. He leaves him open. He's already kind of burned out. And it goes south from there, mm -hmm. causing him to lose the match. Um, the elite's pissed. Hangman leaves out again, doing this cowboy thing. Um, Kenny stays in the ring, trying to like calm down during the commercial break. You can see him trying to calm down. Nick and Matt, um, they, you know, shake it out. They hug it out and shake hands and everything like that. Um, but yeah, it's not going over well. It's it's clear they think that Hangman has an issue, which is also a touched upon after you see a promo that gets, which is probably one of the best promos I ever I've seen <laughs> in a while, where they basically tell him he has an issue. Uh, Matt and they know what it is and they take his cup of his solo cup of beer away from him He's standing there like uh, what's going on and as the camera pans in he all of a sudden he pulls out a pitcher of beer It magically appears like he made you know wine from water. I can't stand him, but it's like it's brilliant um, But yeah, so that happens um, before that Kenny's in the ring is something. Ha yeah, Kenny's yeah. in the ring. I, I skipped uh, over a yeah, little you, you bit. I did, the, but you gotta the hear the, the continuously the the way it goes with Hangman. But yeah, yeah that's what happened with Hangman. You so take then, the um, yeah, Kenny Kenny's in the ring trying to like uh, help Smooth the elite yeah. um, work their problems out when Pac calls them out in the uh, Titan Tron. Um, I guess uh, to do a Riho contract. was gonna be doing a contract signing for the uh, the championship match that I think I don't know if it's announced for next week. But she's going. Yeah, think it is for Nyla. Week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so she was going to sign a contract with Nyla for the uh, belt next week, and Pac tells Kenny that apparently he doesn't care about Michael Nakazawa, so he's yeah. going to take it out on Riho. Um, Kenny right away says, "You got the match. You got the match." And then um, Pac, uh, which goes over to what happened in Dark, where they have intergender matches. Says, yeah. uh, I'm going to be a bastard, but I'm not going to hit a woman. Um, I'm, I'm, not, beast, I'm not a beast. Take care of it. Yeah, not yeah. a beast. And, and then, then Nyla, like, but comes she is. Out. And yeah. then Nyla comes out, picks up uh, little Riho, and slams her on the table. Which doesn't break because she's like weighs nothing. <laughs> yeah, she's too. <laughs> but it, the way she fell off, yeah, it, though, it was it, like she sold it so the, well. The table dented. The table it, it dented. Did, that poor girl did not break the table. But uh, yeah, uh, I liked how really she was good. like she licks her hands. It was like your mark. Yeah, I like it was that. Really good for Nyla. Yeah. Um, Goes with a lot of folklore with like Not, Indian yeah. stories that I've read. I'm going back to my librarian thing. I read a lot of folklore, so just one author. Um, but yeah, they, they have a lot of marking and stuff like that. So I really like that angle. I don't even know if she put that with that, but it was really cool how she said that and that she's been marked. And I, I don't know. I don't know if she'll. Yeah, Nyla, I, Nyla has to win the belt. They can't, she does, they but. They can't squash her again. I don't know. No, yeah, Nyla, I don't know. If Nyla doesn't win. We the thought Britt was going to win. She didn't win. Yeah, that's the one thing that you. You know, AW throws those curveballs. They throw curveballs. Like we really like we're so like WWE like conformed. They're like, oh, this is the storyline. It's gonna continue. You know, so if she does lose, I'd be like really surprised. If she doesn't lose, I'm, I kind of expect that because I'm kind of like already jaded on that. <laughs> you know, but um, but yeah. she has to lose it very soon because Riho's not adding to the belt. I, I love Riho. She's really yeah. talented and all that stuff, but she's not doing anything for the women's division right now. No. Uh, Nyla will legitimize that division by having a legit heel. Yeah. Uh, she already has beef with uh, Sadie Gibbs. She has beef with Shauna. Um, uh, Hikaru Shida is also in for the chase. So you have more baby faces. And then you have um, Statlander that yeah. Chris is mentioning about how, you know, she didn't think it was fair. How she had interference. They might, they might use Chris for a um, um, Britt Baker yeah um, storyline because apparently the Nightmare Collective is no more yeah apparently I don't know if that's a thing if you guys saw Dark um, they turned on Austin Kong um, but yeah so it's Mel ended up losing the match against um, uh, Sheeta and so that kind of did a bridge to her and Luther basically started attacking Austin Kong but we'll talk a little bit about Dark about that but yeah I don't know if that's if this is, that's it um, 
Brandy comes out later Brandy's and, and Dynamite. Later, she came on White stuff. today, yeah. so I don't know if that's like if you're watching her little Nightmare Collective, her doing her little therapy sessions, which are I think they're pretty brilliant. I think when Brandy's by herself yeah, and she has, she does really good. She's believable and she comes off. I mean, I love she likes horror movies. Yeah. I love that aspect about her. Um, so people that are naysayers, man. Sh Give her a chance. Like, seriously, yeah. everything brand new content no, her, doesn't her, come um, off. Her therapy promos are great. have been her, her best promos. I just like that they're little sock monkeys. Yeah. They're really cute. So, anyways, um, back to uh, um, Dynamite. I forgot about this match. And a lot of people, have, like, when we're posting the cards, weren't mentioning this match. And it was said, it was, it's been talked about. So, I don't know if it was supposed to be another another time or another Dynamite. But it's uh, Super Bad Kip Sapien versus uh, the bad boy Joey Janela. Um... Didn't want to talk about Dark, but I feel like Kip Sapien was better in the intergender match with Kenny and Riho and Penelope with him. Um, see, I don't know if it's just Joey Janela not gelling right, which is funny to say. But I I don't know. I feel like Kip brought more more talent out. I feel like he looked better. Well, I think here's the thing with this. Um, this this highlights why AEW needs a mid-card belt. Yeah. Because yeah. So this storyline is Joy Janela doesn't really care that Penelope Ford is with Kip Sapien, but Kip Sapien and Penelope Ford get um, pleasure out of torturing the heck um, out Joy of Joey Janela, Janela. Um, which is okay, but it doesn't really make you be like, oh, this is something I want to see. Now, if you had a yeah. mid card belt and you had Kip Sapien and Joy Janela fighting for I don't know number one contendership, then this yeah. would add a lot more to the storyline. It would yeah. make you care more. I mean, it was it was a decent match, but it didn't feel like overwhelming. It it was kind of underwhelming. Yeah. There was um, there should have been you felt like there should have been more heat on the match, but there wasn't yeah. because of the whole what you said about them having this relationship triangle thing that really isn't anymore. Um, but going back on uh, dark, if you did not see the intergender match, you need to see it because it was no gimmicks. It just was good wrestling, and all four of them looked so good together, which was Kenny and Riho and. Um, Kip and Penelope, and Penelope needs to be fighting by herself. Yeah, um, she adds a lot. She, she would add a should, lot to the roster. That, that's roster. why the women's division is still kind of in shambles. But they need to start. Yeah, they need to start building storylines. Yeah, she and uh, give was, us more than just one match a week. I mean, she was fighting Kenny, and she just looked good. I yeah. mean, she was hitting all her spots. It just looked. It it, just, it was good. Um, but yeah, so um, Kip takes the win. So I don't know if this is done with this match. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, if a dirty win. He, he yeah. took a dirty win by um, pulling on the uh, trunks. Yeah. Uh, Joy Janela was complaining to the ref. The ref says he didn't see it. So it's, it leaves this open. Um, I think they need to add something to it. Either, I don't know, uh, Joy Janela could, could uh, cost Kip something. You know, maybe Kip could, could start building up some wins. And yeah. he could be going in for a number one contendership or something like that. And then Joy Janela ruins it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know just, what Just to is. add more heat to it. Yeah, they gotta do something to add to this if yeah. they're gonna if they're gonna try to do a clean match that, uh, to end the feud. It just didn't ex girlfriend kind of thing. It was just not, yeah. It's not, not really, really. It's it's not. It's it's one thing if like, not to say like the pull like uh, it, it's not overly done. I don't want to say like Alana Lashley. Yeah, it's not. Like and, you that. know, and it's not like that because she's talented as hell. Not to say Lana, whatever. It's not talented. No, but, but it, it's, it's a not, different level. It, it's not made for um, relationship. It's not like it, but she's, it's not like sexualized. No, and she's not flashing that she's with yeah. and like, oh look, you're my ex. She's not yeah. doing that. She's not even cutting that type of promo. It's just this is the past. He's super bad. That's why she's with Kip. More yeah, jelly. But uh, they, they, like I said, like they just need more heat other than that. Yeah. So then, um, after this, Jericho cuts his um, promo with his hermano, as he puts it, Santana. <laughs> Um, he's getting worked on by the medics in the back, and that's what we're talking about. He's talking about eye for an eye. So it would be Moxley versus Santana next week. Um, it falls into another confrontation, what we said about the Bucks uh, coming up to Hangman. Hangman's still drinking his ass off. Uh, I think, uh, really quick, Santana made a really emotional promo. Yeah. Um, Ortiz and Santana are so talented, and you kind of forget about them in the Dark Order. Because, in the inner circle? Yeah, in the inner circle, sorry. Yeah. Because Jericho's personality is so big it's and then so Sammy big. Guevara's all in your face. But uh Yeah. Santana's yeah, been through some and, stuff. Proud and powerful. Um That's exactly what they are. Like you know guys don't get it. Like if you don't know what's going on Santana, like he we mentioned it before, he lost his dad. Um his dad, um, as he put out there was he didn't have his eyesight. So him saying that, you know, you think you try to take my sight from me, like, there's a lot of underlining yeah. meanings, yeah, and if you really see the really promo, um, yeah, it's, it was, 
it was it hit me a little bit because yeah. when I heard it, it's like it's coming from a place, and it, it was it was a lot of emotions were going in. He had the light, hardest month of his life leading yeah. up to this. It's not any. It's not a storyline. Um, mm -hmm. It's all him. So this is going to be a very emotional match for him. I know even if it's you know it is written a certain way, but um, yeah, he he went he he cracked one hell of a promo. Yeah, it was it, really it, good. this was very emotional. And yeah. like you said, like you need to know the uh, background to where it's coming from. His yeah. father was. I'm blind and um, he passed away uh, at the beginning of the year. Yeah, beginning of the year was it before New Year? I think, I think it, it is, was... or right after the holiday. Yeah, it, it was might like have been around right the holidays. holidays. Yeah, um, but Maybe like right before Christmas. Um, sorry for mistaken on that yeah. one, but um, you know our dogs still go out ahead. Yeah, it's just um, as you can tell, like um, they were gone just for a little bit, just for a minute, and mm -hmm. um, you know he's getting his footing. And I think this is I don't know if it's therapeutic, but this is an amazing story for him to tell. In the ring, and he's gonna do one hell of a job. Yeah, to, uh, Ortiz was good, um, and it was a really good match with uh, Moxie. But I think Santana's gonna bring that emotional, um, and just leave it all in the ring. I think it's gonna be a, a, a highlight match for him. Yeah. So I'm really excited to see this. Um, like I said, man, they, they're super talented, and a lot of the times they go under the radar. Like yeah. they're, they're seen kind of like um, joking and doing a lot of like yeah, laughing spots that's, in the that's ring. That's but, it's um, like they're they're really good. They're really. So if you don't know Puerto Ricans, that's what we do. If we're not if we're if we're not laughing, then we're crying. <laughs> so you know that's our you know our therapy. So like, you know yeah they're 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 a fun bunch of guys, but they mean business. And so you guys, as you saw with Ortiz, but Santana's gonna bring that heat next week. Um, after that, along with that, they're gonna do a tag team battle royale that was announced in two weeks uh, tonight in Atlanta. Um, the winner of that's gonna get a title shot at Revolution. Uh, they also showed that it's going to be SCU for the rematch against Hangman and Kenny. I think it is for next week. Is it? I think they uh, mentioned. I'm um, not next week or the week after. Who? Um, SCU. They got their rematch. Oh, it's not yeah. a revolution. Um, it's coming up in the yeah. next two weeks. The, the one, it, it's sometime yeah. in the near future. And then um, announced three weeks from tonight was uh, the Pac and Omega match finally, which is 30 minute Iron Man match. Yeah. That should be really good. Yeah, and then um, it goes into the last segment of the night, which was uh, MJF giving the 10 lashes to Cody. Um, yeah, that was the main event. Yep. Um, the This is just something that you have you guys have to go watch. Uh, Cody and MJF uh, have really good chemistry, and yeah. I'm looking forward to their match. Yeah, they knew it before yeah. they even AEW was a yeah. thing. They knew they were going to be a thing. Yeah. They were going to have a thing together. Yeah, if they, it was beat or be friends or not friends, but it evolved. Um, yeah, everybody can. Arn came out, Dustin came out, Brandy came out. It was really good. Like, um, they were showing emotional support to Cody. They, Cody gets emotional. They milk those lashes, though. They, they, they <laughs> took a while to get those 10 lashes. I felt like at one point, I'm like, he hit one, two, and I'm like, yeah. isn't it like eight already? And then uh, Wardlow hits one because MJF says he's going to give one, one of his lashes to Wardlow. Yeah. And Wardlow instantly breaks Cody's skin and he starts bleeding. It's yeah. Was it, he bleeding on his hand too? Because he tried to like. Yeah, there was yeah, some. Tried, there, it, it, look, he got hit in his hand, or it I don't was, know, blood um, on his hand. It was. It was something to see. Um, kind of, a little bit hard to see at times. Yeah. But just to see the support of his friends and and legit, like you could see there was some concern in their eyes, and I don't think a lot of it was acting. They were probably like, "Holy crap, he's doing this." Yeah. Um, I mean, because, like, we all know it's scripted, but, I mean, like, nothing can script you getting lashed on your back with a belt. Yeah. You know, you have to remember these things, like, yeah, um, you know, whatever, wrestling's fake. Um, and the storylines, you know, everything, everything's already predetermined. It's a dance, like you always say. Um, but, yeah, you try getting hit with a leather belt <laughs> on your back. You know, that's not, that's not fake. It's yeah, going to hurt. It's not scripted. It is. It's not scripted. <laughs> that, that welts on his back after the third one was him welting from his back. So I give a lot of props for Cody for putting himself once again. This guy has been bleeding nonstop for AEW. Um, he just keeps getting hits and he keeps bleeding for this company. Yeah. The, so if you the, can't tell his, you know, his compassion. The Wardlow match is also going to be good. It's going to oh, be yeah. a cage That's... match. I think it's three weeks from now, too. Yeah. Um, they didn't, I don't know if they didn't exactly say, but it's it's coming. Yeah. I wouldn't say three weeks. I would say two weeks. I don't, I don't I know. I think it's going to be... The, That's one hell of a match for him to take. Can you look to see when the Atlanta show is? Uh, I think... Two weeks from tonight. So then, Oh, in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so it's gonna be the Atlanta show. Wait, I don't know. Two weeks from tonight would be yeah, that'd be the nineteenth. I'm yeah. like, I don't know if they would put them in a cage match right before Dynamite. Yeah, because then and then the, the, Revolution. The, the go the go home show will be him probably him, cutting a yeah. promo. It'll probably be some yeah, easier matches. Because I knew they were gonna do it in. A, I, I well, they haven't announced it yet, but I have a feeling they're gonna do it in Atlanta. Yeah. That's Cody's hometown. Uh, there's yeah. gonna be a lot of emotion there. It'd be crazy yeah. not to do it yeah. in there. Yeah. So. so um, that's it. That's yeah, all we have. That's it. I think. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, go back and watch Dark. Dark was good this week uh, with Brandon Color and uh, Sunny Kiss and Jurassic Express. We said the intergender match that they had. Um, who else wrestled? There was somebody else that wrestled too. Was it the best friends? Yes. The. the, the what dog doing? I don't know. <laughs> um, the best friends did wrestle. Um, they wrestled Sean Spears. Oh, and I forgot. Yeah, and, I forgot um, his name. Colin. And uh, yeah, there so were some funny moments. Yeah, Orange, Cassidy, Orange Cassidy. Yeah, again, steals the show, and then there was another match. No, that was. Uh, yeah, there was four matches this weekend. Was it another? Or was there a girls' match? Was it Sheeta? Sheeta and Mel. Yeah. Sheeta yeah, Sheeta and Mel. Mel. So there was yeah. four matches. So that's the one we talked about yeah. where um, after Sheeta beat Mel, yeah. um, Awesome Kong was kind of scorning Mel. Mel didn't like it, and she attacked Awesome Kong. Yeah. So. And then there was the promo with Brandy. So, yeah, watch Dark. You, watch Dark. It'll fill um, you in on what's going on. Definitely. And it was one of the longest Darks, but it's worth it. Um, especially, once again, watch the intergender match. Yep. Please. Um, but, yeah, we will be back maybe I don't know. We haven't done any WWE reviews in a while. Um, we should be hopefully maybe pulling one of those out. But we're also going to be playing some games, doing a review, um, doing some of that live streaming. So. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the, the next WWE pay-per-view is the Saudi Arabia show. Which... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll think about it. You guys will uh, find we'll out. We'll definitely do a WrestleMania one, though. <laughs> definitely we'll see that one. But uh,